In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus tin. So we have a single displacement reaction that tin is displacing the silver here, so the silver ends up by itself. So to balance the net ionic equation, we first have to balance the molecular equation. So this is our molecular equation, and I can see I have this nitrate here. I have two of them and only one here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the silver nitrate. So now I have two of the nitrates, but I have two silver atoms. That's easy enough to fix. I could put a two here, and then I have one tin and one tin. So those are balanced. This is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So for nitrates, if you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. AQ, dissolve and dissociate. Tin, that's just tin metal. So that's going to be a solid. Silver will just be silver metal. That'll be a solid. Then we have another nitrate, this tin 2 nitrate. So that'll dissolve, split apart into its ion. So that's aqueous. Next, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This will give us the complete ionic equation. So silver, although it's a transition metal, it's always 1 plus, And the whole nitrate ion is always 1 minus. Good one to remember. So we have two silver ions. And I won't write the states. I'll write that at the end. Plus, we have two of these nitrate ions. That NO3 minus. For tin, we just write SN because it's all by itself there. Those are the reactants. In the products, we have two of the silver atoms. Plus, we don't know the charge on tin because it's a transition metal, but we do know the nitrate is one minus. Since we have two of them, that's two minus. This has to be two plus. So we have our tin two ion, and then we have two of these nitrates here. So 2NO3 minus. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So when I look at the reactants and the products, I see that I have 2Ag plus and 2Ag. The silver ion is different than just solid silver, so we can't cross that out. But we do have two nitrate ions here in the reactants and the products. We can cross that out. Those are spectator ions. Then we have tin and tin2 plus. So can't cross that out. What we have here left after we cross out the nitrates, those spectator ions, that's the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus Sn. I'll clean this up and add the states, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus Sn, silver nitrate plus tin metal here. You'll note charge is conserved. We have 2 times 1 plus. So on the reactant side, we have a 2 plus. Over here in the products, we have a 2 plus. So that's balanced. The atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus tin. Thanks for watching.